Yeah, Caleb, uh, uh, first of all, uh, are you at all uh, surprised or were you just not intimidated at all that you went out there and just produced right away? Um, I feel like I had good preparation throughout the week. Um, I've been leading on vets like Pat P and M just to learn from them. So uh, whenever my opportunity came, I felt like I was going to be prepared. So um, I feel like I was ready for the moment. Um, yeah, hey, uh, uh, Caleb, uh, Chris Thomas and Pioneer Press. Coach just said that it's a long shot. Uh, Cam Dancer will play at Buffalo. If you potentially start your first career game, I mean, how would you feel about that? And uh, how much did gaining the confidence of the way you played yesterday potentially help you if you do indeed start Sunday? great about the opportunity um you know i was already talking with pat p about you know watching film and dealing with him this week on stuff so um i feel good about the opportunity um looking forward to taking advantage of it go ahead yeah hey Caleb. um you mentioned pat p a couple times but just can you kind of like take us through i mean what he's done for you and how much time you guys have spent from the get-go yeah, so, um, I mean, it really started out on the field. You know, I would ask him questions, you know, about whether it's press technique, playing off, um, just his history in the league, you know, knowing what he's been able to do. Um, so getting small things like that. And then, you know, I've been to his house a couple of times and, you know, he's broken down some film and, you know, what to look for, you know, whether it's splits, you know, where the ball is at, you know, where, uh, you know, receivers are in relation to others. Um, he's helped me a lot in that aspect. So I look forward to continuing that with him. Jim, go ahead. First off, you gravitate towards the veterans. Why is that so important to you? Who taught you that seeking out that knowledge and how that can develop your game faster? And uh, did you get your uh, courtside tickets for tonight's game yet? <laughs> yeah, so uh, my college coach, um, I had him all five years of college when I was at Tulsa and at Mizzou. Um, you know, he taught me a lot, and he was like, you know, when you get to league, you want to get under the wing of a veteran, you know, whoever's on the team. So, you know, when I got here, I mean, it was really, you know, it's like perfect situation, you know, with Pat P being my favorite corner. So, you know, being able to learn from him has been great. Um, and in terms of the game tonight, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out if I can, you know, get courtside. But if I can, then I'll definitely be there tonight. <laughs> Andrew, go ahead. Hey, Caleb, it's it's one thing to make your first start potentially here, but to do it against Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, just how do you feel about potentially getting put in that position? Yeah, I feel great. Um, I feel like, you know, whatever opportunity ended, you know, you have to take advantage of it. Um, and that's what the situation is now. Um, you know, if you care the way you should, um, I feel like, you know, you shouldn't have fear in your heart. I feel like you have to trust in your ability and your skill set and you put it to the test. So you know, be able to do that this week. We'll go to Chris and then Mark Craig. Hey, Caleb, how much of a measuring stick do you think this game is for you guys uh, on uh, Sunday against Buffalo, which obviously was one of the preseason Super Bowl favorites? I think it's a good measuring stick. I mean, they're a good team. You know, they, they're good on all three phases, in my opinion. But I feel like we are, too. So it's going to be a really good game. Um, I feel like, you know, they're going to get our best shot. We're going to get their best shot. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, and if I could follow up, what would you think of the big celebration on the plane yesterday, namely Kirk Cousins wearing all those chains? <laughs> no, it was lit. Uh, Kirk, Kirk be turning me up. Uh, I turned all of us up, really, with all the chains. And, you know, I just enjoy that he's embraced, you know, doing that. Um, <laughs> I like it a lot. Hey, Caleb, um, curious, uh, you know, corners, in my experience, have never lacked confidence, no matter where you're drafted. I was curious what your memories are of, because th this draft class obviously has corners doing things from number one all the way to undrafted guys. What was the mood like at the at the combine among the corners this year? And do you have any memories of talking to anybody from Sauce Gardner to the seventh rounders? 
Yeah, uh, the mood was, I, we all got along very well. You know, we were all like really gelling together. You know, I didn't know what to expect, but, you know, we were picking each other's brains. And, you know, even, you know, during the pre-draft process when I was training um, back in Texas, Ross was actually uh, at the same facility as me. So I would, I would talk mess to everybody. You know, that's just me. I, that's how I get along with people. So I would talk mess to him, um, Cordell over uh, with the Giants, um, Derek Stingley. We were all at the same spot. So, you know, we were talking mess every day about our college teams and, you know, when we get to the NFL and stuff like that. So um, the vibe has been cool with, with all them guys. Um, I respect their games a lot. Um, but it's been cool to see them, you know, do their thing on, on their respective teams. So I'm going to watching them. Any other questions for Caleb? Uh, go ahead, Lindsay. Yeah, hey, Caleb. Um, I just know since you got here, you've been really intentional about kind of embracing the Vikings fan base and having fun with them on on social media and whatnot. Just kind of wondering what your experience has been like that, why that was important to you, um, and then how it was yesterday just after making a significant contribution on defense. Yeah, it's definitely important to me. I feel like that's what makes the game really fun when you can engage with the fans. I mean, they're the ones that are in the stands, right? I'm um, cheering you on. So anytime I can do that, I feel like why not? I don't look at myself any different next person. So, you know, I don't look at like, oh, I'm famous. Like, no, I feel like I'm just a regular guy. So that's why I'm okay with engaging with anybody and everybody. So that's my mindset. That's been my mindset. Um, and then after the game yesterday, you know, just seeing how the fans – they were all out there celebrating, turning up with us. And like I said on Twitter, like, it felt like a home game. <laughs> like, it really felt like a home game to me. So, you know, it's that type of stuff that makes me want to engage even more. Um, so I really appreciate the fans a lot. Jim, go ahead. Uh, going back to the celebration, you know, it, it's fun and it's silly, but – there's there's a big meaning to this though, isn't it? it? It really does bring the group together, those moments like that. Oh yeah, 100%. Um, I don't know if I felt this close to a team <laughs> before, you know? Um, it, it brings everybody together. Like you see guys coming from the sidelines just to join a celebration. Um, and, you know, I feel like <laughs> the fans and the media loves it. So, you know, we embrace it. We're going to have something new every week. Um, we talk about it in the locker room. So uh, it, it's, it's a really fun part of the game. <laughs> Whose idea was it for Kirk to be shirtless? <laughs> well, I wasn't up there when, when it first happened, but I'm sure it was probably Chris Boyd because he's always talking about it. It had to be Chris Boyd. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, well, uh, we'll wrap up with Alec. Yeah, Caleb, uh, what like what was the planning behind the bowling on the field Harrison Smith thing? Yeah, I mean we all talked about it, you know, in the locker room and stuff like that. So it was a big conversation. So as soon as it happened, we all just lined up <laughs> and did it. Um, and then when I saw the video of it, I was like, okay, that look it looked like how we wanted it to. So it was it was it was a clean celebration. 